together when you're feeling alone Make you feel happy, remind you of home Make you wanna get up, get out and go Look at what love can do Oh, 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 the things Oh, the things Oh, the things that love can do sunny day make you brave say what you want to say oh it's got me feeling everything's okay look at what love can do 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 video for the mommy what's mommy doing right now she's not here why where is she she's at the doctor so she can get out the baby so the baby's gonna come out of her stomach yeah, yeah and it pop out the baby's gonna pop out. Did you bring all your stuff? You so bring your pajamas? I did. It's all in my bag right now. Okay. I'm gonna sleep here and I'm gonna take care of you. Okay. Oh. Okay, well, what's your new sister's name? Um, Tessa. Tessa, are you so excited? Yeah, she's gonna be so fun. She's gonna be so cute, huh? Yeah. I'm very excited for her to come. Yeah, I'm just gonna be a big sister. I'm just gonna be five, almost five. Oh my god, you're gonna be almost five, and the baby is gonna be zero years old. Look at Tessa's dog. About that. I'm gonna count to five and we're gonna turn off the iPad. One. Gavin, count with me. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Okay, done with the iPad. Mila, when when mommy when mommy was pregnant with Gavin, when Gavin was in mommy's stomach, and mommy had to go to the hospital to get Gavin out. Did you know Thea came over to watch you? So this is what happened. You want to hear the story? Mm -hmm. So in the middle of the night, mommy woke me up. I was sleeping. Thea was sleeping in her room like this. And mommy said, Thea, Thea, wake up, wake up. <gasps> Gavin's going to come out. And she said, can you stay here with me a lot? and sleep in my bed with Mila, and you were a baby. So mommy packs her bag, and then she said, okay, Thea, you stay home and take care of Mila, okay? And Thea said, okay. So I went into your bed, and I slept like this next to you, and when you woke up, you said, where's mommy? And I said, mommy is going at the hospital, and she's going to get Gavin. And I said, Mila, do you want to go have fun with Thea? And I took you into the car and I put you in your car seat and we went to the museum together. And then I took Mila and Grandma and Grandpa to the hospital. And you know what we did? Uh -huh. What did we do? I don't know. We went into the hospital room and your mommy was sitting in the bed, the hospital bed. You know, I'll pretend to be mommy. Mommy does this. Mommy's in the bed, in the bed like this. And mommy's holding, hold, this is Gavin. Like this, mommy's holding Gavin. And mommy says, Mila, do you want to see the new baby? And then Mila says, okay. And then, Ma, and then Mila sat here. And then Mila looked at the new baby like this. And we said, oh, Mila, he's so cute. Mila said, this is Gavin. Okay. So it's going to be like that. So it's going to be like that when Tessa comes home. There's Tessa. Yeah. And, and you can hold her. And every day at the pool. Well, she's going to be too small for the pool for a while. So you have to wait until she gets a little bit bigger. So right now she's so small, she's going to be sleeping most of the time. Her eyes will be closed. 
And then sometimes she'll laugh a little bit. Why? Because she's dreaming. You can do that. Um, um, this is my my boyfriend. What? You're not allowed to have a boyfriend. Yes, I do. You're allowed to have a boyfriend? Yeah. Did your mommy say? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, my mom says. And how old are you? She's, um, um, he's, um, by 10 years old. Well, 10 years old, you're not, you're not old enough to have a boyfriend. Yeah. You need to be at, you need to be at least 20 years old. 20? Yeah. Are you 20 years old? Yes. Because, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Silly boy. Oh. Take the horse. Yeah, we have quiet time so Thea can help Grandma cook. Get in bed. <laughs> hmm. I don't bite the toothbrush, really. Like, go this. So I found a recipe on allrecipes.com and I got really good ratings. Um, last time I made this cheese cake, I think the, the crust was a little thin, so then I'm just doubling up on the graham cracker. But hopefully this time it'll be a little bit thicker. It is a lot. 
So it's kind of hard to tell how thick it's gonna be, but it looks, right now, it looks like it goes up about that much. Hopefully it's not too thick. The last time it wasn't thick enough. So I guess we'll just see how it turns out. So it calls for four packages of cream cheese. I'm not a huge dessert person, but when it comes to cheesecake, I can literally eat cheesecake every single night. Save it. This is the last time I'm making it. What? Why? Because I know you don't like it when I make it because we just eat so much of it. But I, I mean, had I all that. I, don't like it. I know. I know, it's so good. And we eat the whole thing. So this cheesecake is so delicious that we end up eating this whole cheesecake within a few days. Mm. So I'm gonna measure out one and a half cups of sugar. What kind of sugar is this? It looks different. Oh, it's organic. That's a lot of sugar. Anyways. But at least it's organic. Does organic sugar taste different than regular sugar? Less sweet. Let's check the recipe. So I have the milk, um, four eggs. Okay. Let's blend the milk in there first. And try not to overbeat this. But don't overbeat, don't overbeat, don't overbeat. Four eggs. Four eggs. These eggs that we get from Whole Foods are so beautiful. I mean, look at that color. I want that pattern on my nails. I want this to be my nail color. I'm gonna bring this to my nail lady next time. Be like, mm, can you match this color? Oh my gosh. Wow. That just went all over the floor. I've been watching a lot of food videos lately and I've been um, really liking this YouTuber. Her name is, I think, Yuka something, but she's from Japan and she just eats a, a ginormous amount of food. And I love watching her eat because she enjoys every single bite. It's just so impressive that she can eat so much. Okay. I low-key don't remember how many eggs I've put in here. I think I did that, maybe. It could be five, could be three, not sure. <laughs> and if you guys, ooh, if you wanna look at it, I don't have a mixing bowl. So I'm using this like Tupperware. I know, I really need to get a mixing bowl. It's crazy that I don't own one. But, remove these prongs out of the mixer. Oh. Why do they make it so hard to remove? So I'm 
still a little bit concerned about how many eggs I really did add into this. Hopefully it's the right amount, but since I wasn't really paying attention, who knows. Hopefully it turns out just as good as it did the first time. So like I said, I don't have a mixing bowl, so I'm using like a plastic Tupperware, but I'm gonna pour it into the cheesecake right now. poured it in here I can't pour it back out because there's graham cracker crust at the bottom oh my gosh so what I'm going to try to do is put it in and mix it very lightly from the top so like I said I forgot to mix it into my mixture so what I'm going to do is um just try to add it in and then mix it from the top gently so it doesn't disrupt the graham cracker crust. Ooh. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Okay. That seemed to work okay. That went fine. cheese in here so hopefully it'll still taste good okay we missed I messed up you messed up yeah I don't know if it's gonna turn out that good we'll see I kind of messed up a little bit what I just forgot to add like flour and <laughs> vanilla into it when I was making the mix. So I added it at the very end and I mixed it at the end. We'll, we'll see. Oh, that's not okay. That'll be fine. I wasn't focused this time. You need to focus. I wasn't focused. Do not open the oven to look at it. So, so far it looks very, very good. And I hope that it tastes as good as it looks, which I'm sure it will. I mean, what's not to like? Well, it should be fine, right? I think so. Time has finally come where we are going to cut into this cheesecake. So something happened at the very end that I didn't expect to happen and I didn't want to happen, but hopefully it still tastes really good so there is a huge crack in the cheesecake the crack is so deep i think it's cracked all the way to the graham cracker crust we're gonna loosen the edges so we can easily just slip this off this cheesecake looks terrible <laughs> just kidding the crack doesn't make it look very good but look how thick that graham cracker crust is. I'm just gonna cut along the crack. Yeah, it's pretty much cracked all the way to the crust. I, th th this was terrible. Oh my gosh. There you go. Hopefully it tastes fine. I mean, the cracks don't affect the taste. I thought it was cracked last time because I mixed it too much and I really made a conscious effort not to mix it as much. Okay. Really? 
It's a little bit thicker, more custardy. I don't know if it's like a, I don't know, it's not a bad thing, but I mean, as you can see, it's, it's kind of yellow. I feel like it's more yellow than last time and it tastes kind of eggy and, and tastes like there's a custard. Almost it like has the, a different consistency. It looks almost like an egg bake. Uh huh. With a consistency. It's almost like flan. Flan? Mm -mm. It kind of tastes like flan. What did you do? This looks like a big. It looks like a big ass omelet. 